we need to live very carefully what it is to group in twos and threes. There's a step-by-step -step process, very simply uh, done, and this is available as a PDF. So we need to be thinking immediately how to, how to have a steady stream of twos and threes, but in a very relaxed fashion. So just speaking, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, an almost arbitrary or truly arbitrary collection of twos and threes. We then, as a second step, need to apply pulse somewhere in the body, marching your feet, tapping your fingers, tapping something. Something that implies pulse and speaking one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, whatever it may be, in any combination, a bunch of twos, a bunch of threes, one of each, doesn't matter. And then we speed that up. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, until we eventually get to the point where we have one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. We're speaking essentially eighth notes. These eighth notes are then the foundation for very many lessons and work to group very specifically these twos and threes. We start out with groupings of threes within an eighth note subdivision. So one and two and three and four and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The pulse is going by. We don't know quite what the meter is yet. That's fine. But let's just make sure we can feel the one and two and three and four and we can feel the eighth note subdivision. One, two, three, one, two, three, along that grid of one and two and three and four and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. As a next step, we need to determine, we need to define the meter. So conducting or tapping, something that delineates four beats. So one and two and three and four and or one and two and three and four and. Again, this is the kind of work that can happen on a bus. It doesn't matter where this happens. But delineate a pulse and think dot 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 two subdivisions per beat and then speak in threes. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. In the beginning, it may be reasonable to only ask three threes of yourself. So it's one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, two, rest, rest. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, rest, rest, rest. And then we can progressively add on to that. A second step would be to alternate threes and twos, yielding fives. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. This is, of course, a five, and should you choose, if it makes more sense for your thinking, you may go with one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. All the while, making sure in your body that you're defining the meter with something that clearly shows beat one, whether that's finger tapping or conducting. Our next step is to move to seven, which is simply two plus two plus three. So one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Again, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, and so forth. So these kinds of games can be played at any location, at any time. You can whisper this all to yourself. You can think silently. Get the work done to conceptualize twos and threes. The fundamental tool for so very much of the work that we're doing together throughout these lessons is the ability to think in twos and threes, and we'll address very many other methods for getting at this objective.